What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Fatal Frame Maiden of Black Water. In the last episode, we started our search through the Shrine of the Ephemeral to make our way through the Tori and find Hisoka. And in this episode, we made ourselves, or we made it to the, uh, the Shrine of the Water, and we just have to explore it. So, without further ado, let's start some exploring. I have no idea how long the rest of this drop actually is, but... But we'll see. Oh, something in, hiding in the corner over here. Some more film. I wonder if there will ever be a time <laughs> where I'm like, you know, I could really go for some Type Zero film right now. Like Final Boss vibes and really looking for that extra bit of damage. Wow, look at this. Interesting. This large interconnected pathway all underwater. You can almost hear like the echoes and whispers of ghosts in the background. Some items strewn about. Purifying embers. Underwater. Purifying embers. <laughs> Love it. Oh, my favorite. These are definitely my favorite enemy. At the very least, we have a lot more space to work with here. And there aren't as many walls for these enemies to hide behind. Which is a pretty big difference maker, if you ask me. It's tough to stay pretty consistently locked on. Not impossible, but definitely a challenge. Darn it. I once again thought I could get the shot off in time. We all know how that turned out. That's a shutter chance. Should have a couple more spirit things. Next time I get a shutter chance, I should uh, try to take advantage of it and utilize my healing uh, attack, but ended up finishing off the ghost before I could actually do that. Unfortunately, couldn't quite get the um, fatal glance either, but at the very least, at this point in time, I'm more convinced I'm not actually missing much with that. What's over this way? Dang, there's just so much to explore. Like, what's in this little alcove here? Oh, this isn't even really a little alcove. There's a small shrine submerged in water behind the broken fence. So much as it is a, a pathway to a whole other area. Look at that. I'm not sure I want to explore that just yet. I saw an item over here. Didn't I? Yeah, over here. If any future enemies are watching this, how to lure Nick into any trap. Put something shiny on the ground. We'll inevitably go back for it. Let's see, what's going on over here? Can we walk into this? We can. What will we find? Oh, a couple glowies. Some film. I swear I was fast enough. I swear I was fast enough. Ah, oh, but I guess not quite quickly enough. More Type Zero film. Dang, the game is really building me up for a battle at the end here. Some sacred water as well. So just a little, little treasure chest of items here. 
Oops. I guess I uh, can't just run off that way. We're at least slowly starting to map out the area, which is nice. Radiator in the background contributing to the ambiance. Love it, love it. I already checked this alcove over here, right? Yeah, and I can't go across that. Alright, so we'll head on over this way. It would seem like this is a sort of main entrance. Hmm? There's something over here? Probably hidden behind that wall. Another one of those submerged shrines. More Type Zero film? Oh boy. Ah, yes. Oh, you're not this bad, though. Let's get these uh, spirit drops or whatever up, and then I want to use my restore lens to get a good chunk of health back. Where'd you go? There you are. Almost. Come on. That's not a very helpful uh, spot. Still got a little bit of HP to you. We'll see what we can do about that. Where are you at? Nice. Got a good heal from that, too. Where are you at? Oh, over here. <laughs> I should see if I can, um, after this chapter, maybe... I'll go back and see if I can up the sensitivity anymore. I think I actually maxed it out. Alright, yeah, she's dead. You can always tell with that last 200. Don't go far- don't go that far away! What's with fading so far away in the back? There's no way I can get a fatal glance with that. The end of the hallway has collapsed. Most of the eastern half of the corridor has fallen in. Confirm dead end. Pun intended. Alright. Let's head on up out of the water. Oh. Only to, uh, I guess head back into the water. Obviously, those doors are the, the main attraction, but there are these wings on the left and right. We have an item over here we might as well take advantage of. A mirror stone. Can you believe it? That's the second mirror stone we've got in this level. The second mirror stone. We found multiple Type Zero films. We've found a ton of Type 90 film in addition to Mirror Stones. We are in for a treat, guys. I hope you're ready. I hope I'm ready. Because <laughs> I don't know, guys. The end of the corridor has collapsed. The eastern half of the building, yada, yada, yada. Okay. Let's see what we can do in here. We are sopping wet, which is not great. How much health do we have? We're, I think we're about half. No, we're above half. Okay. I'm getting some big boss vibes. Nothing hidden in the corners over here? Nope. All right. Huh. So there's just a reliquary there. There's like a mirror in one corner. A couple corners. The question is why? Are we gonna finally find Hisoka? <gasps> yes!
私がここに残ればあなたは助かるだから逃げた<笑>ダメよ許さないしあなたは一人で行こうとしているかもしれないでも今はあなたは一人じゃない私が一緒にいる間だけでもこっちにいて少しでもいい少しだけでもいいの死にたいのなら一緒に死んであげるから。That was incredible, guys. I love that. <gasps> no. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna take one second to just say what? My TV's gonna turn off in a second. <laughs> Don't do that. Um, that cutscene was incredible. I love that. The parallel to the cutscene we saw with Yuri, the actual events that took place with Yuri, it was like she did the shadow reading by touching Hisoka, and they were actually communicating with each other in the nether through this memory, this shared experience they had, this shared setting. And she was telling Yuri that she's already become a pillar and to not come with her. And Yuri trying to pull her back essentially, but apparently it's, it's too late. And now Hisoka has already become a pillar and we've, I guess, completely put all that to waste by opening the box prematurely. And so now she, as well as the black water, have been released from it, and we just have to deal with it. Wow. I'm also trying to think. Have we fought her before? I don't think so. Maybe, though. She's got a lot of health, which makes sense. She is a boss. I imagine she's gonna have multiple stages too, right? Multiple attacks that'll get progressively more difficult to deal with. Because yeah, I do remember this. Where there were just all of the different what? How could I like not see her there? I remember there was like all the small circles. Yeah, so we have to get rid of those, I think, and then we can finally interact with her herself, right? What is that? It's these projectiles. Huh. Yeah, I do think we fought her before. So this isn't even a, a recent occurrence. We've encountered her and this specific reliquary multiple times in the past, haven't we? Aw oh, man, I wanted to give the shutter a chance, but it was pretty difficult to time. Oh, we still missed out on one of them. I just keep going all over the place. Come on. There's that one left. Okay, finally got it, I think. Jeez. We got the Fatal Fred. Nice. Wait, what? Only 200. That was odd. I was expecting to be able to get a lot more damage off there with the Fatal Fred. different attack than usual. She's up top? And attacking downwards. Interesting. Got a pretty strong hit off there. Can't complain about that. Oh, I tried to go for the healing attack. To no avail, obviously. I think we got a ton of them there. Yeah. That 
pillar is proving to be a problem. Interesting. Yeah, so it seems like that initial fatal frame attack is the, the most damaging one. After that, if I don't get, I think, like, her, her face or whatever in the frame, I won't be able to get much. So I don't know if it'll be a cutscene after this. But if it isn't, I really want to get this fatal glance, guys. <laughs> should be vulnerable now. Right? Oh, where'd you go? Right, she's probably gonna attack soon. Where is she? Where'd she go? Oh, over this way. I also want to get a better idea for how much health she has left. So I really want to try locking onto her. Come on. Get rid of that curse thing. <laughs> the, like, the taint or whatever it's called. It's probably, like, the scariest thing. Oh, she's not even, like, halfway done. I'll take this while... Just get rid of those while I'm trying to figure this out. Nice. Got a little bit of some good damage there. couple recovery shots amidst that. We've still got room for one more, too, so that's nice. She's just, like, floating around and everything. Oh, I missed one of them. There we go. Now she should be vulnerable again. She's releasing more of those attacks now. Early. Darn it, she got me. Thought I got the dodge, but but alas, I did not. At the very least, there's a pretty big open area, right? You know, like one large sort of central area clearing in the middle that we can use. We actually have a little bit of mobility here. Not a ton, but some. She keeps, like, fading in and out. I was wondering, what in the world am I running into in the middle of the screen? And sure enough, that's right. There is a reliquary there. It's going to make it difficult to lift, Which makes sense. Ooh, that was good. We healed quite a bit from that one. She doesn't have a whole lot of health left. Narrowly avoided that one. Oh, we got a fatal frame. There. Nice. And we're almost done, I think. Right? Oh, I think we are done. Fatal glance, fatal glance, fatal glance. Oh, I guess we weren't done. Psych. <laughs> say, please let me get this glance. Thank you. 
Hello. We actually got her back. I didn't think we were going to. Once she was like a ghost we had to fight, I didn't think it was going to be an option. Hisoka, we were back. It's been so long. So glad to have you back. I didn't think I didn't think we were gonna come back with her. <laughs> um, so that cutscene, so it shows that girl that I guess Hisoka had known in the past, or maybe it was like a split second too late before she could find where her where she went missing to, right? Because she was obviously a client who was searching after somebody, found them just before they committed suicide, and then had to relay that news. Unfortunately felt that sadness and that's probably what led her to anticipate where Yuri would have potentially committed suicide herself and of course that's also the reflection that we saw in the mirror that girl probably indicating that Hisoka probably sees a lot of us in that same girl all right so now we've just got to make it back overall pretty neat battle um, I, I liked it. It wasn't too crazy in terms of moving around the camera, but as if just to remind me of everything I dislike in the combat system. The game's like, here you go. Have one of these guys again. My absolute favorites. At the very least, um, I don't have enough time. It's the same sort of corridor. I think we fought her before. Oh, I, I can get uh, some piece of us strats going though, can't I? Nice. Thanks, Hisoka. I really appreciate your help. Where are you at? Oh, you're still behind the wall over there. Nope, now you're not. It's like awkward, they just like run at you. There's like not a lot to do. Are you dead? I guess so. Okay, now with that out of the way, we can actually get back. Don't worry, Hisoka. I, we have your camera obscura, right? I wonder like what Hisoka is thinking in this moment, right? She's probably so glad that she's made such a good impression on somebody like Yuri that Yuri really had her back, came up all this way. Hisoka knows exactly what she's gone through to get up here. And, um, you know, doing so with her camera obscura, almost like, you know, the apprentice becoming the you know, filling in the, the shoes of the master to an extent, right? It's got to be so validating to see somebody you've worked with, somebody you've saved, somebody you care so much about, so much, um, somebody you've trained, you know, take up what you've done and implement everything you've been trying to teach them. So we made it back to the antiques shop. I really didn't think she'd make it back alive. いつもこ
その温かさがあってよかった。I love these parallels. Ah, I love it so much. <laughs> Yuri boarded the boat of passage and was taken to the shrine on the water, the final destination for shrine maidens set to become pillars. Yuri found Hisoka inside the shrine and took her safely back to the antique shop. The bond between the two of them grew even stronger. All right, S plus, cool. Happy with that. What's interesting is the episode list says we're at 50% now. It's crazy to think we're maybe only halfway through the game, right? Oh, and now we're playing another one of those Ren Hojo stop the ghost from getting into the shop. Interesting. I, oh, this is like a really weird timing. Do I start this and only play it for like 20 minutes? Right? That's kind of an odd thing. Um, let me go back and sh see if I've changed the settings appropriately for that camera. Because I feel like I'd still like to move more quickly around. Photo mode. Yeah, we're just gonna... Unless... Search mode? Is photo mode... I would think photo mode is like the battle system, right? I'm just gonna bump it up all the way. And we'll see how it goes. In search mode, I'm gonna bump it up too. And see how that goes. It's probably been a while since you guys saw the, the main menu, but there we are. Our archive is at 71% though. It's kind of odd if we're only halfway through the game that the archive is nearly full, right? That's kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, I think it's kind of awkward, so I apologize. But I think I'm going to call it here and say that in the next episode, we'll do the 13th drop. Ren Hojo, stop the ghost from getting into the shop. I think the last time we did one of these, it was only like 40 minutes, not even. It was like 35 minutes of in-game time, right? So it's probably like 40 minutes in total. I'm torn. Eh, let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Rui, Miyu, Miku, Hisoka, and Yuri have all returned from Marikami. Actually, that's interesting how the full party is basically back. I mean, minus Haruka, right? The Dark Sun has followed them. The mountain will not let them go. Ren must protect them. Alone. <laughs> okay. Um, they're starting us off with a whole bunch of stuff. Interesting. The Dark Sun. Rui, Miyu, Miku, Hisoka, and Yuri all fall into an unusually deep slumber. <laughs> and then fears that while this persists, the defenseless group may be vulnerable to attack. Time to get back to those surveillance cameras. Ren knows he must find out what's going on with Mount Hikami before something comes to pay a visit. Yeah, and don't fall asleep this time, jeez. Really, uh, drop the ball last time, and then... <laughs> Look at this red. So this is the middle of the night. The dark sun is up. These are some really good shots of the characters. I always like have in the back of my mind like would this make a good desktop wallpaper or a good thumbnail? <laughs> Might be a sign of something strange happening on Mount Kami. 
Something might be on its way here again. I should keep an eye on the surveillance camera feeds. What's with this dark filter? Wow. It's like really dark. It's like almost two o'clock or no, who knows? All the clocks are different. We've got customers. Oh, a whole bunch of people. I think there's one on my left, too. Right? That I just don't see right now, or what? There we go. Oh, that one's dead. Darn. Missed out on a fatal glance there. That's right, these guys are kind of like the, the Goombas of Fatal Frame. <laughs> Fatal Frame Goombas. What a concept. There's still one left, right? Yeah. Are you dead? What the heck? Can I, why can't I lock onto you? Oh, I guess you're not. I mean, what am I waiting for? It's just gonna take one more hit to knock him out. <laughs> Might as well. Oh, shoot. Camera Obscura, go. Wandering woman, that's going into the room that I think Miu's in? That's the room Miu and her mother are sleeping in. I've got to rescue them. Run, 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 run. Run to the rescue. Can't look in those drawers. Now's not the time. Things seem like they're going to be a little bit more chaotic this time around. Alright, come on over. We got uh, we got some battling to do. Oh, what the heck? Oh, that was probably like a temporary, like the ghost was kind of in two places at once deal. We can do this to release some spirit drops or whatever they're called, technically. Uh, I'd prefer if you not go into the wall. A little bit more difficult for me to interact with you there. Oh, come on, come on. We just gotta get the knee in frame as well. Oh, we didn't get the shutter chance? That's a bummer. There we go. Oh, where are you at? Behind me? Oh, yes. We're gonna do that just to get rid of that curse. Can you please just, like, not go in the wall? Please. It really just unnecessarily delays things at this point. Alright, one more hit, one more hit, one more hit. I was like, you're getting awfully close. Wow, look at this lighting. Or rather, this filter. It's so neat. Now's not the time to be getting stuck on the stairwell. Come on. Run faster, then. You've gotten so many steps in recently. Your cardio should be great. Do we make it in time? I mean, they're still here. I guess that's something. On the Shadowborn. I found an old book about Shadowborn. Where ghost marriages take place, tales of children of the dead are often found. They are known as Shadowborn, or children of the underworld, and are feared by the people. The Shadowborn. Once a man beloved by a girl living in a small village went missing in the mountains. Every day the girl went to the mountain shrine to pray for his return, but years went by and the man never came back. After ten years, the girl had lost her mind. She went on living and talking to a man who wasn't there. One day the villagers noticed that she was with child. She said that the man who had gone missing was the father. Ignoring the talk in the village about the identity of the father, she gave birth alone. The baby girl that was born had the missing man's eyes. As for the man, he was an outsider who had stumbled upon the village. It was later transpired he was killed by the villagers ten years prior. When the child learned how to speak, she asked the villagers, Why did you kill my father? Holy cow, that's creepy. They seem to be alright, except for the nightmares. The ghost I saw walk in is nowhere to be seen. So certainly... Oh, there they are. There's the friend we were looking for. Oh, wait. I can't even believe I forgot. 
We were on Type 14 film. I, I literally, there's nothing for me to do right now. <laughs> there's, there is zero space in here. I was wondering why we killed that other ghost so early. You are awfully close. There's not a lot I can do about it, I'm sorry. Alright, here comes the attack. I was gonna say, I'm just gonna really have to live with this, uh, this zoomed up close perspective. Almost accidentally opened the drawers there. So our next objective is to check the surveillance cameras. The question, of course, being, what will we find? Also, yeah, I sadly have been using Type 14 film this whole time. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me with the score screen. Because I don't anticipate finding a lot more film right now. Kind of curious. While there is a down moment, per se, I want to check these rooms, because there's inevitably something I can interact with, right? Hisoka's Journal 5. This notebook looks like it's Hisoka's. Maybe there's some kind of clue in it. I couldn't make it. Just as I thought I had her, she fell. Akari. I couldn't save her. Forgive me. Those words still echo in my mind. Maybe in chasing after Akari, I pushed her too far. I'm so relieved. Thank you. The forced niceties made it so much harder. After that call, I cried so much I thought I might die. She slipped through my fingers. I feel like Yuri will, too. That's sad. She looks like she's having a nightmare, but otherwise seems fine. She spent days trapped on Mount Hikami. I'd like to ask her about what she saw there. But I've got more urgent things on my hands right now. I should keep watching the camera feeds. Then watch the camera feeds, we will. Oh, I was trying to open the door. I didn't anticipate that we would be opening the drawers, but hey, let's see what we can find. Nothing, apparently. I'm still so curious as to why there's static here. Is there, like, a radio? That's what it is. Okay. Let's keep going this way. This is Yuri's room, I believe. Pick this up. Again, while well, there's a dull moment. Yuri's notebook three. This looks like Yuri's diary. Maybe there's some clues in it. The words, I won't let you, brought me back to my senses. They overwhelmed me. The words were so powerful, so absolute. They really got to me. But what really got me to stick around was something small. Hisoka's favorite words. Sometimes a cup of coffee can make all the difference. It was such a little thing, but I never noticed it. Aw, that's sweet. Also time for a, for a Midnight Zero fun fact. I have never had coffee. Mind-blowing, I know. It's like my fun, you know, like party icebreaker fun fact about yourself. It's not particularly motivated by anything. I, I pretty much exclusively drink water, but... The, um... The coffee, a lot of people drink it for you know a variety of reasons, whether it's taste or caffeine or whatever. I've just never been too intrigued and gotten by without the caffeine, so. Now it's like, I don't know, I pride myself on it, so. Might as well keep it up, right? There's a bed in the middle of what looks like a storeroom. There's no trace of dust. It must get cleaned regularly. I guess that's right. This isn't even... This isn't even an Ent's antique shop. What's he doing here? He just like felt like coming here in the middle of the night and is like, oh yes, all these women are back in the, the shop. They, they need protecting. <laughs> I know he's like friends, but also like somewhat, you know, professionally friends with Hisoka, right? Um, but it's just kind of funny that he's just like randomly here, as well as uh, Rui. Rui is breathing quietly in deep slumber. What's that look? It's, or what's that book? It's about folktales surrounding Mount Hikami. I should probably take a look at it as well. Mm. 
Water and Mount Hikami. Was Rui reading this before she went to sleep? Water has been deified on Mount Hikami for centuries. The water from the Lake of the Departed envelops the mountain in mist. To the locals, the water is the source of the soul and where the soul returns to in death. Have we read this before? This belief likely spread due to water being tied to everything within the wet and humid climate. The people fear nature, revere it, and live among it. This may show the true character of the locals. Interesting. Rui is having nightmares, but seems okay otherwise. Alright. Five nights at Kurosawa Antique Shop. この山には水をご神体として祀る風習があった。水は魂の源であり、また魂の帰る場所でもある。I love love Ren's voice actor. Such a cool voice. So far things are fairly quiet. So far. Nothing in that hallway. Or there. Judy's room has static, but then it clears up. So I think we're doing okay. Miu and Miku. It looked like there was a little bit of movement in their heads, but it could just be the cameras, right? That's my phone. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really seeing much at the moment. Maybe that static is some sort of indicator. If it is, I guess it makes sense to go there. Because otherwise, we've made a few rounds, right? We're not seeing much. We have taken care of a handful of the ghosts already, right? Potentially. If it's staticky again, I'll go. All right, all right, all right. Let's let's go check on Yuri's room right now. Could just be the camera, but could be because there's some sort of paranormal interference going on. It is a pretty far trek, though. Or no, it's actually just the the one at the top of the stairwell. Yuri is bathed in the red glow, but is still in a deep sleep. Everything seems to be fine in her room. Something has fallen under the bed. A book Yuri was reading? I might be worth checking out. Interesting. What was Yuri reading? Oh! Hello! That's something, alright. It's gonna be difficult to avoid this one. Yeah, I was gonna say, I mean, even if we do the, uh, avoid the dodge quick time event, it's pretty difficult just due to the nature of, uh, can I, can I lock on, please? Where are you at? Oh, you have a lot of health. Oh, I'm having a little bit of a difficult time there. <laughs> the game did not like the dust. Alright, get ready for this fatal frame. Or not. You're actually crawling away. Interesting. Shutter chance. Lovely. How much health you got? Like, close to nothing. Alright, that should do the trick. Glance? Nice. Now we can finally see what Yuri was reading before bedtime. No ghosts down here. <laughs> Water, life, and death. There's a book underneath the bed. It sounds like the sound effect for the ghost fading has been stuck on loop because we entered this. The beliefs of Mount Hikami are related to beliefs found all over the country. The water is life, and in death the soul must return there. People came to the mountain to return their souls to the mother that gave it to them. To die a proper death. The belief that dying in the mountain's water was somehow proper. This shows a strong yearning for nature itself, with death is just another part thereof. I'm worried about what's going on in the rooms. I should check the camera feed. And then there was quiet.
to the cameras. It is kind of funny that he's like, I'm worried about the other rooms. I should check the cameras. When you're literally like down the hall from both of the other rooms. Rui, still here? Okay. It's not always a given with any of these women. Inhabitants of Mount Hikami have long held peculiar deaths or beliefs about life and death. People would go there for special rituals and offer their lives to the dark waters of the mountain lake. Mount Hikami has always been known for the many suicides that take place there. Uh? Yeah, Ren's voice actor sounds so cool. Oh, oh hello there. Got the fatal frame off. You can use some nice uh, Ryu strats in here too. Yeah, we got a. Actually, there wasn't too much damage all that much. Oh, what? How did that happen? Did you guys see that? Like, teleported. Nice shutter chance too. We stuck on the table. Where you at? This is a, I feel like this is a new ghost. Right? Like, is this a unique type of ghost we fought? I don't recall this type of battle pattern before. It's kind of similar to that... The model is similar to that girl that we tried to help find Haruka in the beginning of the game. Right? I mean, well, it's just the knife that's really telling you that, but... We can take some pictures, get some spirit drops going, or whatever. What? Oh, you're awfully close. Got a fatal frame, but I can't see you. This will probably do the trick. Yeah. Come on, I want this fatal glance. You're a new enemy. I think we actually might get something new here. Did not disappoint. Fatal glances. Easily one of the coolest part about this game. <laughs> Hisoka's doing fine. Mew. Miku, fine. The front's doing okay. Hallways are alright. Our room is doing okay. Anything going on with... I, I, there's no way it's going to be Yuri's room again, right? Oh. oh my god, it's that tall woman. <sighs> oh boy. Alright, alright. I saw you coming downstairs. Turn the corner, bam. No, no. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. Actually, before I forget, let's see if we can upgrade the output here. Because I think it would be beneficial. Because we're struggling a little bit. Hmm. I haven't. I don't really use this much, do I? I probably should, honestly. Right? Hmm. I'll think about it. Because it does slow the enemy down briefly, right? Some mirror stone. Oh man. Oh what? <sighs> Got me. 
what's interesting is how lifelike, you know, or how like real that hand looked because of the the fade. The mirror stone's there. Nothing I can do in the bathroom yet, right? No. Okay. Is the tall ghost up here? No? Okay. Just felt like dropping by, helping us out a little bit. Maybe, you know, maybe the tall woman has a nicer side than we're giving her credit for. Maybe she's really, you know, the friend we've had all along. <laughs> okay. Static. Not sure if it was just because we were hopping back on the cameras or if something was going on, but... So far, our friends look like they are not in danger. Let's see if there's static at that stairwell again. If there is, we may need to make a stop. So far, things seem stable, though. Ah, oh, there's our friend again. <laughs> it is fitting, though. The tall woman. She can make it to the camera, height-wise. Let's get up there and see what we find. Tall woman, I'm on to you. You were like up in the corner here, right? Where are you? Hmm. It's probably just got to be a particular cutscene or something. A particular time that we see her that we can actually interact with her. Last time she dropped a mirror stone, though. I'm pretty sure this is the camera that she interacted with. That one up there. It's always in this little area over here. Nothing going on in this room, right? Huh? Oh. Is there something? There is. Type, wait, type zero film times six? What? Why six? Maybe I just haven't noticed in the past that they come in bundles of six or something, but... That's a lot of Type Zero film. Alright, back to the cameras, I guess. Where are we going to find our tall friend next? What is that sound? Oh, you know what? I bet it's in our room. It's going to be right behind Ben. Totally. Totally gonna be right behind them. Yep, 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 I knew it. As soon as I heard everything going on in the room, I was like, oh, it's totally like all around us. I can't see what's going on for the life of me. Alright, let's um see if we can group these people together or something. Shut a chance? Nice. Okay, there's a second one though, right? No? Yeah, there is. Oh, that's gonna be it's tough. We gotta get around the couch. Can we shutter chance? Yes. Nice. Pretty good one, too. At least they don't have a lot of room to run either. Oh, what? Dodge, dodge, dodge. Get out of the way. Um, because it'll make it easier to group them together for shutter chances, I think. I wanna get rid of that while I can. And I'm gonna try and realign you guys. Oh. Wow, there's a strong shutter chance. What am I bumping into? I don't know. Part of the desk, presumably. I feel like the sensitivity for the camera didn't even bump up all that much. Oh my goodness, what am I running into? There's just not a lot of space here to work with. Did one of them die? I guess so. I should be a little bit more cautious with 
them because they don't have that restore lens. say, how can I not get the, uh, the fatal glance there? What am I potentially hanging on to? What's down here? Another notebook or journal? Rui's journal 6. Rui must have been writing this before going to bed. This might be the end. My body is growing colder and my blood runs clear, like water. My body shakes with the mountain. I can't move. I wanted Mr. Hojo to get away at least, but he can't escape. He has become an outsider. He must choose. The one he doesn't choose will be thrown away. I don't think Mr. Hojo will be able to do it, but it's already too late. He needs to choose someone. He needs to end it with someone. Is he talking about ghost marriage? He needs to pick a bride, potentially? Each of them is becoming, you know, pillars, potentially. Or at least that's what Mount Kikami wants, it seems. Is that what this is all leading to? Ren's harem route, where he has to pick his bride? Either way, we are not doing so hot health-wise, so let's use a little bit of herbal medicine just to kind of get ourselves above water. But he's not waking up. I'm a bit worried, but for now, I need to stay here and keep checking on everyone. Okay, back to the cameras. Hmm. Yuri's doing fine. Next up is Hisoka. Yeah, she's doing okay. A phone call, really? Oh, what? Seriously? <laughs> oh. Um, hello there. Peeking woman. That's something. I actually think I need to be on the other side of the antique shop bar in order to interact with this ghost. Oh, or not. What in the world? Is that Kazuya? No. Well, it looks pretty similar though. Where are you at? I want to get rid of this curse ASAP. Still there. Behind me? Yeah, it seems so. Every time I hit him, it's like a new one pops up. Yeah, it was a strong shutter chance. ourselves some space. Then of course we can push back with the uh, shutter chances. Alright, this should be enough to get a shutter chance. Run, 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 run for the fatal glance. What? <laughs> Why does it do that? It's so finicky sometimes.
ものものも結ばれなんだか。Oh my god! That was unsettling. Jeez. Like, seriously. Where is this item? The, the snapping of the bones and everything? Like, what? Alright, this is, this is driving me crazy. Where is this thing? It's on my left, right? So I turn to left. It's not in frame yet. It's in frame. So it's somewhere over here. I get the impression it should be on the counter. Is it on the floor here? I'm just not seeing or what? In the fridge? This is driving me nuts. Ah. There we go. In the reliquaries. This book seems to be about reliquaries. But yeah, I mean, we know that the, the groom, right, of the pillars essentially dies too. And his spirit or whatever joins the, the pillar to strengthen her. The black boxes found on Mount Hikami were filled with life, with death, and with fear. In short, they were filled with human sacrifices. Shrine maidens were put in these reliquaries to protect the locals by appeasing the Shadow Spring. The Shadow Spring served as a bridge to the netherworld. In other words, beneath the water, the source of all life, exists the underworld. The black water came from the underworld itself, and with it came disaster and ruin. The border between life and death was faint in that place. The Shrine Maidens were said to take on the memories of people who came to die. This seems to be similar to the spirit channeling seen in other parts of the country. To take on the memories of the dying is to share in death. The Maidens glanced people's souls as they died, taking their secrets as they were sealed in the reliquaries. The Shrine Maidens became one with the water to connect with the people they glanced. The Shrine Maidens ferried people to their death, via the water. The Maidens of Mount Hikami presided over death, but this may have been in an effort to protect those still living. I'm worried about what's going on in the other rooms. I should check the camera feed. Yeah, it seems like a lot's been going on around the area. Is it uh, finally Hisoka's turn to be under attack? Religion practice on Mount Hikami relied on the Shrine Maidens. They were the ones guarding the border between worlds. They had two main duties. The first one was to oversee the deaths of those who made the pilgrimage to Mount Hikami. And the second one... Wow, Hisoka is still doing fine. Oh, there's somebody in the front of the shop again. Peering in. It looks like... It looks like it's the bride from that fatal glance we just saw. So we just saw, we just fought the groom, and now we're going to have a chance, potentially, to interact with the, um... Oh, hello. What is going on out here? The, the bride, I guess. Alright, we're going to, I don't know how we're gonna make space here, because there's... Oh, what? Literally through the floor? Through the floor game? Are you for real right now? Alright, we're gonna evade that. Let's see if we can bunch him up again. We need to consolidate. Seriously, you're all the way down there. You're up here. He's not good, guys. Not good, not good. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna back up this way. See if we can channel them into this hall. Did not successfully get the Fatal Frame, but we can probably get some Shutter Chances if we can get them in the same sort of range. Look at that water! Oh, what? 
seriously. <sighs> Hello? Did I literally just go from like one attack state to the next? What in the world? I have no... Guys. I'm trying to attack the hands. Please. That was, that was something. Let's use some herbal medicine here because we are, this is a struggle battle here. Can I please line you guys up? Have some degree of coordination. You still have like full health. Oh boy, come on, come on, come on, come on. Shutter chains, nice. Another one? Nice. Is one of them dead? I don't think so. I'm getting attacked from somewhere. I don't know where. Somewhere, though. Uh-oh. Ah, man. I was just a little bit too, uh, too late on that one. Sorry, we're getting a lot of utility with this Fatal Frame, though, I think. Can we take one of them out? Maybe? Doesn't seem so. Oh? Okay, please let me get this Fatal Glance, Fatal Glance, Fatal Glance. Nope. Darn. Okay, is there how many are left? It seems like there's only one left actually. So let's let's run away for a moment. Let's see if we can actually get the ghost to show up in a reasonable place. Fatal frame, which is nice. How much HP do we have left? Not a lot. Zero in fact. Let's see if we can get a glance from you. Please. Whoa. So those maidens approach the Tori on the Lake of the Departed, and um, afterwards, they were essentially consumed by the black water, and then eventually sank into it, becoming a part of it, presumably. Alright, let's see if we can get to that antique shop. <laughs> I I think this is actually where we came up. Yeah, it totally is. That was a fairly tough battle. I wish, I kind of wish the loading time on the cameras, I mean, we've maxed it out all, right, all the way, right? I still wish it were faster, honestly. Because I feel like, at the very least, during that like ring around the rosy type attack where they were just kind of hand holding around me, it was like I'd take a picture and then it was like, I'm ready to take a picture and can't and just a lot of, I don't know. Feels a little bit clunky, but. Not too bad. Now let's see. <laughs> Are we gonna see this bride in the uh, the corner? And if not, did they leave an item behind or something? The last rays of sunlight are streaming in from outside. The neatly organized merchandise gives off a polished sheen. Okay. Guess we won't be seeing them. Back to the cameras then. Back to the cam again. Not again. Back to the cam again. Gooey <laughs> is still here. Lovely. Okay. So far, so good. I mean, the real one I'm expecting is Hisoka's room. 
Next up's gonna be Yuri. She's doing great. Hallway. Now Hisoka. Yep. We're going to Hisoka's room. Probably should have just gone up that other stairwell, honestly. That's alright, I guess. So what's hiding in here? The last time we saw that sort of static, it was because there was a ghost hiding. Arguably, there's going to be one lingering under this bed, too. No? Ghost brides. An old book has fallen on the floor. I can see the words ghost marriage. It looks like it's by the folklorist Keiji Watarai. Maidens within the casket suffer through an eternal cycle of life and death as they slowly melt into the water. To protect the mountain, the shrine maidens must endure that pain and suffering alone until they can take no more. There was a ceremony to soothe the suffering of the maiden souls, allowing the pillar to persist longer. This is the ghost marriage. Living men are brought to the mountain as grooms for the suffering shrine maidens. They choose their maiden and then exchange their vows. At the moment their souls join, her soul is said to return to this world. The maiden is then placed back into her casket, groom in tow, so that she can continue to uphold the border between life and death. Until a maiden is bound by ghost marriage, she is alone. She must wait to be chosen. This ritual invokes emotions that transcend life and death. Perhaps this is part of the deep-rooted beliefs of, beliefs of this religion, where nature is both feared and revered by people. I'm worried about what's going on in the other rooms. So I should check the camera feed. I agree. But just while, while we're here, Hisoka, you're doing all right? No ghosts in sight. I can't let my guard down, though. I need to keep checking on everyone. That's right, Ben. You do that. There's that bride. Woman in a mirror. Pixelated. But there. Alright, so let's head on back down. <laughs> and now this episode is running long. Uh, just not quite in that, that sweet spot of like 45 minute to an hour long drop where you can get it all in one episode. So next up is probably going to be Miyu and Miku's turn. Orurui, right? We've been attacked in this room, but they haven't, you know, truly come for Urui, presumably. Hisoka, Hisoka. Yuri. Hinazaki san no yaku wo. Rui. Tsure wo toshita mo ii ga. Ashira wo shinatta yama wo. Oh, hello there. Get up, get up, get up. I'm trying to get up. Oh. Is that Ren? the ghost marriage ceremonies were held. Huh? How do we end up here? Yeah, I mean, we've been here before, too. This is indeed where those ceremonies are held, right through this door. What is going on? And her? Who is she? 
Ren learned of the true purpose of the rituals performed at Mount Hikami. The mountain acts as a boundary between the world of the living and that of the dead, a place at which the souls of visitors were returned to the water from which they were born. Shrine maidens absorbed the memories of the dying, and when they could take no more, they were sacrificed in reliquaries. Ghost marriages served to console and strengthen the souls of those sacrificed. Wedded couples were thrown in the darkness that leads to the netherworld. Water connects everything. Wow, that was really neat at the end. That was really neat. And now it also introduces this talk of the the girls in this game. They've presumably become pillars throughout all of these different drops, right? Each of them has been rescued from one of the reliquaries at some point. They've essentially become pillars and Ren, as well as the other characters, are stealing them back from the mountain. And so the question is, how is that going to impact the mountain? How is the mountain gonna react? And of course, I, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, classic, we make our way to the the spring of the dark water and eventually have to, you know, destroy it at its source or something like that. Oh man, it's so cool. That's so cool. I'm so excited for that. This story, these characters, this this paranormal environment is what? What? Are you kidding me? I was gonna say it's getting so good the more we learn about it, but we're already on the last drop? What? Are you kidding me? Yuri, Ren, and Miyu go to meet their fates. Last drop? No, this can't be over already. No, we can't already be close to the end. I thought we had like, episode percent was like the drop percent. I thought we still had like another 12 to go. Oh my God. Well, I hope you guys are looking forward to the last drop. I obviously am. I'm very excited to see how all of these paths intertwine and, and how this fate, you know, this legend about Hikami comes to a close, if it does, right? Oh boy. But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.